Now we enter the teaching part of custom lighting effects editing. The biggest differences between custom lighting effects and the system lighting effects is that custom lighting effects can only be saved on our keyboard, while system lighting effects can only be saved in the software. Note, system lighting effects can only be used after opening the software. We can switch custom lighting effects by pressing Fn plus this key. Now, we can press the Edit key to enter the Custom Lighting Effects Editing page. We can click the pane on the left to rename this Custom Lighting Effects. For example, I named this Lighting Effects Dova. Press the plus sign in the setting column to add a Custom Lighting Effects layer. You can also delay this Lighting Effects layer with the charge can in the setting column. After we finish the lighting effect, we can export the finished lighting effects according to the export. The export lighting effects can be shared with our friends or stored in our computer as a backup. We can also use import to import sphere lighting effects stored in our computer or lighting effects shared by others into the software and save them to our keyboard for use. And the left half of this interface is mainly to see the custom lighting effects we saved. We can click on the corresponding custom lighting effects to edit and view the effects. The keyboard on the right is our lighting effects display simulation keyboard. The light effects of the simulated keyboard and the actual keyboard are synchronized. Double click the corresponding custom lighting effects layer on the left and the keyboard display page on the right will play and display the corresponding lighting effect. And the following two boxes are the editing interface for custom lighting effects. The box on the left is to set application range of custom lighting effects and then state time of lighting effects. The box on the right is to choose the effect and color of the lighting effect. The first one, the plus key, which is to add this has the same effect on the both sides of the box and the key in the shape of this charge can is delayed. These two up and down keys are used to move the position. I press this key, firm 1 goes up and firm 0 goes down. I press the key again, firm 1 goes down and firm 0 goes up. The same button for these two squares is the copy button. It can copy the select layer. For example, now I select the firm 1 layer and select the range of the firm 1 layer. When we click copy, we can see that the firm 1 layer has been copied, including the selecting range inside. It has been also completely copied. The five buttons below the editing box on the right have the same function. The only difference is that there are four light effects to choose from under the plus key in the edit box on the right. The first lighting effect is static lighting effect. Note, only one color can be selected. The second lighting effect is cycle lighting effect. We can select multiple colors and let them play in the loop. The third lighting effect is bracing lighting effect. The fourth lighting effect is rainbow lighting effect. I will create a relatively simple lighting effect for everyone using static lighting effect. First, I press plus to create a lighting effects range layer and then set the duration and the lighting effects range. Note, our lighting effects time unit is milliseconds. I currently select the first row in the lighting effects range of frame 0. We can click. And you can also select the lighting effects range by pressing the left button and pulling. When selecting the lighting effects and color selection for frame 0 in the right box, we also need to press plus and select the lighting effects to create the lighting effects layer. Now, the static lighting effect is selected. And before we selecting the color for frame 0, we have to select the corresponding lighting effects of frame 0, which is the first line. 
and select the color on the left. To select the color to the range of lighting effects, I choose blue now. We can click on the lighting effects layer in the two borders to check whether the lighting effects range on both sides are the same. Set static lighting effects for the second line and select green. Set static lighting effects for the third line and select rose red. When accidentally covering the color range of other lighting effects layers, remember to uncheck the extra part. Select red for fourth row. Choose purple for the fifth row. And this simple lighting effect is ready. Let us double click the lighting effect to see the operation of the lighting effect. When you have done finished lighting effect, remember to press save. Then save the lighting effect to the hardware layer of the keyboard setting. First, we click the hardware one and then click the add button we will be able to see the lighting effects we saved earlier on display. And then we press the save button again to save the lighting effects to the hardware one. Our lighting effects are successfully saved to our keyboard. Let's see what the extra lighting effects of the keyboard is like.